Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Mathematics, channel with different and really interesting relaxing questions. And in this video we are going to solve this really interesting, I would say the same way, this is like relaxing question, 1 plus 1 plus 1 times 0. So on the first side this is the easiest question you've ever seen because this is not a like complicated math question. This is very easy question with 1, with addition and with multiplication with 0. So it's not like a very huge numbers, it's not like a division, it's not like a square root right here. So very simple question. So right here we have a lot of options. We have option option A, option B, option C, so a lot of options right here. And here's our question. What is what is the correct answer to this problem? Because this is a very simple problem, but in the same way, this is a very tricky problem, and a lot of students do this common mistake, and a lot of students uh, make this wrong right here. So I want to suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. Three options A, B, and C, and we will check our answers here in just one minute. So it will be it will be really interesting. Let's look to solution to this question. So first of all, we have this question, so 1 plus 1 plus 1 times 0. So here is our question, and from school you know that whatever you have on the left hand side, if you multiply it by 0, your answer is 0. For example, imagine you have like 5 times 0, this is equal to 0, you have like 10 times 0 equal to 0, or whatever number you have on the left hand side, other than matter, if you multiply it by 0, your answer is, your answer is 0. Yeah. So here's our rule from school, but uh, does this rule works right here? Because we have like some number on the left hand side, we multiply it by zero, and one part of students say, okay, the number, the answer is zero, which is option, option A. Okay, this is the first uh, solution. I don't want to tell that this is correct or incorrect. I want you to understand that right here we need to know about order of operation. This is not all addition, this is not all multiplication. We have a combined right here. We have a combination of addition and multiplication. So for this question, let's solve it according to, for example, PMDMC. This is the main most popular order uh, operation in the world. All the internet libraries, scientific, graphing calculator works according to PMDMC, and let's check it. For example, right here a lot of students solve it as zero. Yeah, but you you need to prove, you need to show how can we solve it correctly. And let's look at it. First of all, we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 and times 0. Let's look at this question according to PMDMC and let's check. Maybe we will have the same 0 right here. Let's look at it. The first step according to PMDMC and saying this PMDMC works from the top to the bottom, the first step according to PMDMC is parentheses. So now we need to start from this parentheses, we need to look at it, we need to find this parentheses right here. Let's look at it. I don't see any parentheses, so we just skip this part, which is really great because parentheses, this is a complicated step, a lot of difficulties with this parentheses, so we don't have it and it's really great. Let's go to the next step. The next step according to PMDMC is exponents, our exponents. So are there any exponents right here? Let's look at it. No, I don't see any squares, cubes right here, which is really great. So we can easily skip this part, which is really great because exponent may be the most complicated part in these steps, because when you have, for example, 2 to the 20th power, you need to find it before, of course, multiplication and division part. Okay, we skipped this exponents part, then we need to multiply or divide, because the next step is multiplication, and a lot of students do this common mistake, they say, okay, multiplication, then we need to find multiplication side. But in the same way, you need to add to this multiplication, you need to add a division, because this is the same group. In our case, it happened that right here we don't have division, we have only multiplication, but here is our main trick, because right here addition, this is not our case, right here addition, multiplication in the end, and this multiplication we need to apply to these two numbers, not to the whole expression right here, only to these two numbers. So let's do this, let's find this expression. So we have 1 plus 1 plus and 1 times 0, you know from behind right here we have 5 times 0, 10 times 0, and doesn't matter 1 times 0, equal to 0. So as you can see, we completed this step, and as you can see the last step, addition and subtraction. And very simple addition, we have we have 2, because 1 plus 1 plus 0 equal to 2, which is option, option C. So as you can see, very interesting moment, because according to PMDMC, which is correct order of operation, the correct answer is 2, option, option C. But here is our question. We had a zero before, and what can we say about this uh, about this solution, about this expression? And I ask my student, what do you think is correct, this one or this one? And of course, a lot of students uh, confirm that according to PMDMC is a correct answer. But how can we create this uh, answer completely uh, completely correct at the same as right here? We need to put parentheses right here. If you put brackets, if you put parentheses, then you need to start from these parentheses, as I told before. Right here, you have the first step parentheses, and now you need to start from these parentheses, and your answer will be will be zero. But in our case, we don't have this option. 
we had this option, but we don't have these parentheses, so we can easily reject this wrong solution, which is which is zero in our case, and and of course our correct answer is option 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 C is a correct a correct answer. So very tricky question, but I hope you you, you remember you learned this rule and you know that the correct answer is. Two, not zero, which is a really bad solution, but happens sometimes that a lot of students forget about it and you need to, to learn or to remember this, this question. So here's my solution, I hope you understand this, I have a lot of really interesting math questions on my channel, so thank you for your time and have a great day.